What's going on guys, Bastion on Mava here coming at you with a new video and for this video, as you can tell, we got a pretty rainy one. So we're going to do the best we can and see what we can come up with on this nice rainy day. Going to start out with a uh, hot fire tiger colored uh, chatterbait. As you can see behind me, the water is super muddy, so hopefully this bright color will uh, trigger a strike. Let's see what can happen and here we go. Water is so dirty, it's like chocolate milk. So first I start off throwing the chatterbait around, just doing a steady retrieve, slow, ripping it out of any grass that I get caught in, and I mix it up here and there, doing pop and go retrieve as well, pulling it up and then letting it fall, and then pulling it up and then letting it fall. Don't know if they're gonna want the chatterbait. Not seeming like it. Now I decide to switch it up and change to a black and blue chatterbait. I still think I can get a few on the chatterbait. I just need to change to a black one in this dirty, dirty water. They'll be able to see it better or catch a bigger silhouette, especially since the sun isn't really out. If the sun was out, the brighter color probably would have been a little bit better of a choice. Well, there we go, guys. That was kind of unexpected there. He just whopped that out of nowhere. There we go, guys. Popped the first one, and it's a donkey. Off the old jackhammer. Kind of just pile drives it right there. That's a good one. That's about a, a five pounder there. Dude, look at that big old girl. Yeah, buddy. That's what we come out here tonight, this uh, crappy weather for. Get a chance at some big girls like that. Get a good look. Now let's head go. She's gonna make me get in the water. There she goes. Let's see if we can pop another on that black and blue. As soon as we made that switch to the black and blue, that's what did the trick. Let's see if we can pop another. Now I'm going to change it up and try to slow down a little bit. Sometimes slowing down just a little bit and changing up to something just a little more subtle and dragging it can help you get more bites. All right, now guys, we're going to try on a Guggen Slizzard and slow it down a little bit. This is the toxic waste color, a little black and uh, bright green. Hopefully that'll show up pretty good in this dirty water. We're going to tie one of them on and try that. See if we can't pick off any more uh, slowing it down. Just going to Texas rig it here. Thread him up on there just like that. Hook it through right there. Feed it on up. Make sure he's nice and straight. Then take this right about to there. Poke it through. Like I said, make sure he's nice and straight looking. And 
just tip a little bit of the excess there onto the point so it makes it nice and weedless. And then of course I'm going to undo all the tabs to make my bait move like it's supposed to. There we go. Also got a little glass bead in there just to make a little bit of noise dragging around. It's real dirty so anything to help in that dirty little bit of water. Let's give her a shot. I start throwing this lizard now and just slowly dragging it along on the bottom. Doing a little pop here and there and raising it to clack that little bead around a little bit. But mostly just a steady drag. I moved again and went around to the other side of the pond. Like I said, gotta keep moving, trying different areas, hitting different spots and looking for different pockets and cover to try. There's one. Little guy off the slizzard. There you go, fat little guy. Now I decided to switch it up and tie on a sleeper gill, the Mega Bass sleeper gill. And that's just a little bit more subtle option than a chatterbait. Doesn't thump quite as hard, but with this bright chartreuse tail this has, they should be able to see it a little bit. So I decided to try that. And also this has a really subtle, harder thumping tail, but still more subtle than a chatterbait. So I decided to throw that and try to pick off a few more active fish. There's a little guy off the sleeper gill. Sit right there at the side of the bank. Look at that. He was going for a pretty big meal for his little butt. Took a little while there, but we finally caught another. Now I change spots. Always good to keep moving around. Try different areas and keep casting in different areas, especially fishing in small ponds like this. Even in lakes, you don't want to keep casting to the same exact spot because you've already run it by any fish that was there and it obviously didn't want it. Here we go, another on the uh, Supergill. Let that chunky one go. Oh, 
Well, up, guys, that is pretty much going to conclude it for this one at the little public pond. And as you saw, caught the fish on a couple different baits, the, sl the Guggen Baits Slizzard, the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill, and the Z-Man Jackhammer Chatterbait. All of them, a little bit different categories of baits, but in little areas like this, it's usually typical to catch a couple different fish on a couple different baits, as I said in the video earlier. But... That's pretty much going to conclude this one. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next one. Get entered into my giveaway. We're going to be giving away a lure pack as soon as we hit 1,500 subscribers. So to be entered, you have to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, leave a comment for an extra entry, or share on one of your social media pages, and that'll give you another extra entry. But make sure you tag me in it. I have all forms of social media, so make sure you tag me in it, and then I'll be able to see it to get you entered. But with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one and hope these tips were helpful or can be helpful to you in the future. And we'll see you next Thursday, guys. Tight lines. <laughs>